he really wanted to come back and, and really do this for his city. And um, I think we really, you know, put a stamp on, you know, who he was as a professional and why we turned him professional. This was the first thing he wanted to do. I mean, the first thing, um, we had um, you know, a little announcement for him at the office, really intimate setting. And then after that, we, um, you know, we, we asked him, what do you want to do next for, your, for you know, yourself going pro? And uh, coming back to El Centro, coming back to his home park that he literally skates every other day. Um, you know, uh, he really wanted to like, get everyone here, his family, um, you know, his friends that he's grown up with, and the entire skateboard community. And just one of those things where um, we just really want to give back to the community and, and just bring everyone together and really celebrate uh, you know, someone that came from El Centro and, and you know, really made into the pro ranks into you know, skateboarding. You know, we, we always scout, we always find, you know, new young talent. And uh, when Diego came across, you know, our, our CEO and our team manager and all our guys' eyes, and, you know, it was really, it was no no question. You know, his ability, he's one, I mean, if you just watch him, he'll, he'll electrify you. He's one of the, like, top, you know, upcoming pros in the world right now. Everyone has responded so well to it, from all the local like shops here around here to shops all around the world are carrying his board now. So to see him really rep his city as hard as he does, and to now you know the rest of the world sees his city and, and sees this park on his Instagram and everything like that, it's it's amazing how much reach he has as an individual and as a professional.